This video is about how to use Putty Gin to create uh, proper SSH keys for you can share with uh, other people that you're working with, whatever format uh, they're going to use. Putty is an easy way to make those keys, but it doesn't always build uh, a, 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 a compatible format uh, a, a, like this. Uh, so first off, we want to make sure we've got no key when we start off right here. We want to make an SSH2 RSA kind of key. If the person you're working with has asked you for something different, please make something different. Otherwise, this is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty common these days for folks to actually up this now to 4096. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary, but uh, it's cheap and easy to make a couple more bits on there. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Now we've got our settings in place. Let's go ahead and generate some keys. You got to wiggle your mouse around a whole bunch on this thing to. Uh, you know, make it recognize some random data uh, or something like this. It's rather annoying, but what are you going to do? Uh, boy, on a Linux system, it just like reads this reasonably secure random thing. Uh, okay, and now we wait while our key gets generated. It should only take a couple of seconds here. Sweet. So we got a whole bunch of. Uh, different pieces of information here uh, uh, with our key. We've got a public key for pasting into OpenSSH authorized key file. 100% of the time, this is what you're going to want to share with somebody who wants uh, you to say, give me your public SSH key. It's probably, by which I mean absolutely is, this uh, format. I mean, unless they say otherwise. Let's go ahead and just make a new uh, text document for you can keep this. Key, pub, text. Okay, so we'll keep this data here. That's one. Uh, yeah, let's save those changes. But then, see, in order to use this, you've got to have a public and a private side. So Putty needs the right private side. So you can go ahead right over here and say, let's save a private key. I'm not going to put a password on this one, for example, but you probably would want to. So this is your key. It's the RSA key. It's in the putties format. That's PPK. You're going to want to save that right there. Uh, I put mine on my desktop. Let's move it over here so you can see it. And then maybe you need to save your public key in some other kind of format. You can go ahead and do this here. In, uh, this is uh, putties public key uh, format. I'll just call it key pub dot uh, boy. I guess I'll just call it PPK. Uh, dot text so we can just open it later it's because it is just a regular text file this is what putty formats there's like a bunch of stuff like this it's all on one line because of this weird character is a Linux Unix line ending not a Windows line ending and uh, we're using a Windows notepad right here oh and then the last thing we want to do is we want to export an open SSH key and that's to have our RSA key as the open SSH formatted um, RSA things. Uh, yeah, again, no passphrase because I'm just bad like that. So we'll call this one uh, key. Well, typically on the Linux machine it's called IDRSA. Oh, it's just called that, but I'll leave it .txt again so we can see what these files look like readily. Again, we have a line ending issue again because we are on Windows and these are typically designed for consumption on a, on a Linux machine. So you could take this um, public stuff that we have right here that we put in key, whoops, which one? In key pub dot text. This stuff you could share with somebody when they want the public side. You would use this PPK file for authentication in PuTTY when you're going to authenticate. And I'll just give a brief overview of how to do that. Get into your PuTTY. You go into your connection. You go into SSH. You go into auth. You've got a thing right here where you can browse for key files on your desktop. There's my PPK file. I open it. Now when I connect, it's going to use this uh, uh, private key and present that to whoever uh, you're connecting to. And if you've given them the public key file and they've properly added it to authorized keys, everybody will be good to go. Uh, thanks for hanging out. My name is David Busby uh, with Adocio. I hope this has been helpful.